Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create this type of search input using html css and javascript so this is a complete tutorial and i recommend you to watch the video till the end to learn how you can make this type of search input using pure html css and javascript let's start first of all you can see that here is my simple index.html file and this is the style.css where we will write our css code so first of all we have to create a div here with class search box inside this create a div with search class next create a div with class search input next create a div with close class i have split my screen into two parts so you can see live output to your right side next we have to add font awesome icons to our website so open the google and search here font awesome cdn open the first website name cdn js.com and from here we have to copy the first link so we have to copy link tag we have to click on this icon and paste here inside your head section and we don't need these attributes that's it by adding this link you can use font awesome icons in your website let me show you how to use these icons to use these icons we have to type here i element and give a class fa fa search you can see a search icon and next inside this we have to create an input and type here play holder search here and inside this div we have to create an i element with class fa fa next we have to open style.css and type here asterisk ring zero margin zero and box sizing border box next just copy this body element and paste here as it is type display flag justify content center align item center minimum height 100 vh and background so we have to give background in a linear gradient uh, but i have already typed that background here i just have to copy and paste here so you can see the property you can type this and this linear gradient background is beautiful background blue background and basically these four lines were to bring my these height 60 pixel width 60 pixel position relative and transition 0.5 second next copy this search class and paste here with a dot and type here line height 60 pixel text align center and minimum width 60 pixel friends we have to change one thing uh, first of all i will comment my this overflow and this justify content not center give value space between so now you can see that my input and the close icon is to the right side and when i will uncomment this overflow hidden you will see this beautiful icon next type here dot search space i it means that we are going to give style to our this i element which is exist inside this search class so give font size 20 pixel yeah it's looking good next again copy the search box class paste here with a dot type space and copy this search input class and paste here with a dot and first of all i will uncomment this overflow hidden property so you can see uh, its style so we have to type here position absolute left 60 pixel line height 60 pixel height 100 percent and width calculate 100 percent minus 120 pixel similarly we have to copy these two classes and paste here and next copy this input element and paste here and give width 100 percent height 100 percent and border none and outline none next we have to copy this search box class and paste here and type dot active without typing any space and type here width 360 pixel and we have to copy this active class and open index.html and paste this class here so friends you can see that uh, the output will look like this uh, next we have to uncomment this overflow hidden hidden so you can see that it is looking good and next we have to style our this close icon it's pretty simple so you just have to search type here search box space dot close it means we're going to give style to this div element with close class so type here display flag justify content center align item center width 60 pixel height 60 pixel and font size 20 pixel friends you can see that we have made a, a beautiful input next we have to write a little bit java script code to make the open and close animation so open the index or html and scroll down and type here a script element type here var search is equal to document dot query selector type here this class search class put semicolon and next again copy and paste this 
and type here search box document dot query selector and inside this type here search box and next we just have to set an on click listener basically this query selector function will select the first element inside our document with class search and so on so next we have to type here search dot on click is equal to function search box dot class list dot add active semicolon and let me remove this active class and when I will click on this you can see that it is opening now and because we have add a transition of 0.5 second that's why it took 0.5 second to open this input first of all let me refresh this and click again click on this you can see that it is opening quickly but when I will uncomment this CSS code and just refresh this so you can see that it took 0.5 second to open and next we have to add JavaScript code to close our input so open the index.html and see Similarly, just copy this one and paste here and before before this just copy this line and paste here and type here close and inside query selected type your close class copy this close and paste here and inside this function code we have to remove our class not add but only remove and that's it so friends you can see that we have done with our code and to the right side let me zoom in my screen so friends this one you can see that we have create a beautiful input using html css and javascript i hope you must enjoy this video and i have took inspiration from other youtuber videos to make this beautiful video for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay updated with amazing html css and javascript tutorials in the coming days inshallah and finally thanks for watching